Welcome to BSKL News Round, a bi-termly video dedicated to the pertinent news around BSKL. Now firstly, I would like to say a farewell to all the teachers and leaders who have left us, and a big welcome to the teachers who have arrived in BSKL for the first time. A special mention goes to Miss Shelley, who is currently working with underprivileged children in Indonesia. Now onto the topic of our first video the new teachers. Well, in case you did not get the chance to know them very well, here are some tidbits of information for you. Okay, hi BSKL. So, what makes a good student? Um, for me, it's someone who cares, is highly motivated and organised, um, in my experience, if students have these qualities, pretty much everything else falls into place. Alright, great question. The best thing about being a teacher? Probably twofold for me. Firstly, it allows me every day to teach a subject that I love, which is English. And secondly, I think what's really special, as cliched as it sounds, is seeing those light bulb moments from students, those moments where they just get it and are really passionate about the subject. Thank you. My gut is saying to go for England. Um, have unfortunately, there's this dodgy part of the country, sort of north of the M4, uh, and they call it the North. You might have noticed a few teachers. Uh, that part of the country. So I'm going to not go that. I'm going to go for, I'm going to invade New Zealand. It's a good question. I think of a lot. I wouldn't mind going back to the Black Death. I obviously don't want to have the Black Death, but I want to see what it was like. I wouldn't mind going to ancient Greece, but I think if I'm going to choose Victorian England, A, because my pale, pale skin will fit in there really well, and B, I could take my knowledge of the future inventions back there, back to future it, become a rich and wealthy woman. It's been here quite a few months now, and we've eaten nasi goreng and nasi something else, and something e. And I'm still getting used to all the names, but I think my favourite's got to be the infamous curry puff. The hardest thing about being a school counsellor is that due to the number of students, I only tend to meet my students once a week. So sometimes when they've left, um, especially if they've been upset or distressed, um, I'm thinking about them and wondering how they're getting on um, once they've left my room and knowing I won't see them until the next week. Yeah, we're going to do like loads of really fun experiences this year. Um, we're going to dissect a whole frog in Dissection Club, so come along. Um, and I'm trying to think this week we did uh, sampling uh, microorganisms that grow in year 10 belly buttons. So that was quite weird, quite gross. Uh, yeah, lots of great things. I'd say my favourite place to visit in KL is probably the KLCC area, in particular the Petronas Towers. I know it seems like quite a, an obvious answer since they're you know, such a huge and important landmark in, in, in KL. Um, but I've seen them many times in pictures before, in, in videos, in, in movies, but actually when I was actually in front of them I realised how impressive they were, how impressive the whole area was, it just it blows me away. So I really enjoyed visiting there. I think if I had to pick an animal, I would be a peregrine fox. Fastest birds in the world, you'll be able to fly everybody everywhere, and you'll be able to like, rain death upon any animal that was below you. Okay, what well, superpower would I like to have? Um, I'd like to be able to fly because um, I think that would be really fun. Um, yeah, I'd, I think I'd like to have wings and um, be able to fly. character Lambda because it's fun to say. It features prominently in one of my favorite video games, Half-Life 2, and it is it represents Earth in the science fiction series Stargate. So my favorite continent would have to be Europe. That's all I know until the winter Asia. Uh, and a very difficult task to have to do is uh, Ayaya the Scientific Pot. Nice to 
see students pay at school because I think it would be really good to work in different environments, either like in a sports hall or outside in the fresh air. And I also think it would be really nice to get to know like um, other talents that students have that, um, that I don't get to see in the classroom. If I had to, I would try and describe it as a mix of when it's dark, if they can see the blackness of behind their eyelids, and then if they can see light when someone shines a light into their eyes, if you mix that together, then that might be approximately what yellow would be like. And that's why I would say. Uh, thank you for asking me this question. Uh, my favorite art medium at the moment now is probably printmaking. I had many, uh, me many media that I liked before, photography, painting, but at the present time, my favorite uh, medium to work with is printmaking. I like Lino printing, I like uh, color graphs, and I'm hoping to show you all of that in the lesson. I think goats are uh, very important with the history of BSKL. As you know, Miss Kelly was raised by a herd of goats, um, and so it's important for everyone to remember that, I think. And um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why else to say. I think KL is a complicated, concrete catastrophe. Okay, should I listen to Pachel Bell's Canon or The Four Seasons? I think for an hour, much as I love Pachel Bell's Canon, it's repetitive enough and doing it for an hour might be like some sort of emotional torture, I think. Um, so yeah, got to opt for The Four Seasons, which has got much more variety. As a player, probably around 30 sets and as a teacher uh, I'd say a good 40 sets maybe maybe even 50 since I've been here <laughs> well that's all folks this is Winket for BSKL Newsround signing off for today and we hope to see you next time